Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Fudge and I'd like to welcome you to EDU 520, the Educator Researcher. And this is a new for me. I, I love to use screencasts and I'm going to start uh, something new this time and see if it helps students by going through some papers, um, the short paper that you will have due several times uh, throughout this term. Also, the um, article critique, and even going through the template for your critical task at the end. So, I'm hoping that this will uh, help you in some way. And I'm just going to go over through this, go over this paper, and I consider this um, not a perfect example, but it is an exemplar of what I'm looking for in the short paper. So, let's start with the title page. This student has provided the course number, um, the assignment, the name of the paper, um, her name, then the university name and assignment due. You don't have to include all that, but you can include or should include the name of the paper, your name, the name of the university, and you can put um, include my name on there also. And I apologize, I use Screencast-O-Matic. It only gives you five minutes to record this, so I'm going to have to talk fast. So just hang on and bear with me. Your paper should be numbered um, starting with one on the title page, and it'll number, you know, one through whatever. This student has provided a running head. Now, fantastic that you do, and I hope you get in the habit of uh, providing a running head since you are on the graduate level. Um, this running head is just slightly incorrect. When you're going to provide a running head, you will type, actually type in running head and notice um, running is capitalized but head is not. And then the title of your paper should be in all caps. And if you haven't learned this trick yet, you can actually go here and put a Put it in all uppercase. Now I don't have time to show you this, and you may have to Google it. But on your second page, you're not going to have running head listed, but you should have this in all caps. Running head will not be listed on any other page except for the first page. Everything else, you'll just have the title of your paper in all caps. You'll also have the title of your paper here. And keep in mind, when you include the title of the paper, all words greater than four letters will be um, capitalized. The first, you know, first letter in the word will be capitalized. In your short papers, in this, in the case of this short paper, you're uh, going to be writing about the greater good, whether um, using human subjects um, that you may cause physical harm or emotional harm, is it worth the risk for the greater good? And you're all going to have different opinions, and that's fine. I just want, to, want you to back it up with cited evidence. But this student does a good job of setting the paper up, and she provides a thesis statement here. And that is most important that you provide a thesis statement in your first paragraph. What she does um, that, that I prefer you to stay away from is using first person. That's using I or my. She could cut this off and just say, um, although unethical research practices have resulted in significant knowledge gains for humankind, the greater good that comes from such experimentation warrants, you know, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to leave, you don't have to include I do not or I do believe. Also, um, when you're citing uh, another someone else's uh, quotes or thoughts, if you're if you're citing an exact quote, you need to include the page number here. Always include the page number. You would put comma p dot and whatever the page number is. Then you're going to make your case, and I'll say here this at the end and speak quickly. You're going to have a concluding paragraph at the very end that summarizes everything that you've done.
And then lastly, references. Make sure that your reference um, first line goes all the way to the left margin, but all lines underneath are indented five spaces, and also you want to double space this area. I'm going to provide you with a link to Al Purdue so that you're going to know how to set up um, your reference page. Notice that first word is capitalized in the title. All other words are, are lowercase unless it becomes behind a, if it comes behind a colon or if it's a proper noun. And I know I went quick, but I don't have much time. I hope this provides you with some helpful hints so that you know what I'm looking for, you know what kind of format that I'm looking for. I will also provide this example. Um, I will attach it to this announcement. So hopefully that should help you out. I'm also going to attach, and I can't believe it's giving me over five minutes. Um, I'm going to attach all the things um, that I'm going to be looking for this semester. I'm going to attach it to this announcement. And run this off, um, copy it, um, take a look at it just as a reminder. Because sometimes as we get through the term, you start to forget things. And maybe things that I told you earlier, so it's easy, easy to forget. But I wish you all the best. I'm, I'm a very easygoing person. Email me anytime. I love to email back and forth if you feel like you need to talk to me on the phone. Uh, my number is listed. Just make sure you email, email me so we can set up a time. But I look forward to this. I think we're going to have a great class. So, um, take care.